Hi, Dr. Heather here from Wellspring Chiropractic Lifestyle Center. Today I want to talk about the care that we provide to folks that have come to us and they've had a concussion. So the first thing we do is our thorough exam so we can understand completely what's going on with them. And then as we address the patterns of stress in their system, the patterns of distortion and misalignment, um, sometimes there is cranial torsion that occurs in a concussion. So we look very closely at the alignment of the cranial bones. And we also look at the upper cervical spine to make sure that there's alignment there. We use a light touch model uh, because that's how I do my best work. And the way that works is I wanna have the brain recognize where the patterns of distortion are that it created. And then I wanna see that it can actually integrate that, that past stress so that it can realign the structure on its own. And then I know the brain is really gonna be running the body in a healthier way. We do a number of other tests when people come in with concussion. We wanna do some brain-based testing as well because our approach is actually a brain-based approach in our methodology of addressing these problems. So one of the things we'll do is we'll look at the balance between the two sides of the brain. Uh, so the cortex, the part of the brain that controls one side of your body versus the other side of the body, right? We want to measure that. And so we actually can do a strength test for that. We do a grip strength test to start with. And then we can also do a test looking at the fingers. We ask the person to separate their fingers wide apart, splay them apart. And then I want to press them together and see if there's strength there. You need to have both sides of the brain working in coordination in order to achieve that and be able to perform that strength. So when we see that one side is weaker, we want to then verify, is that showing up with the entire side of the body? So we'll go right down to the toes and we'll measure, is there weakness comparing the two toes? And then we'll even go up and look at, is there weakness in the different legs? And when we start to see consistently that there's a weakness on the same side, in the toes, in the leg, in the hands, then we can start to identify, yeah, we need to go upstream from the spine and actually work at getting the two sides of the brain back into sync. When they get kicked out of sync, the, then one side of the brain is running one side of the body differently than the other. And so then we have exercises for them to do that can help to kick it back into sync. Another test we look at is whether there's a difference side to side with the cerebellum. The cerebellum is the part of the brain that controls a lot of balance and motor function, moving your body. And so we'll do a test where we, um, we do a muscle test on one side, and then we have them play the piano on the other side. And that action of playing the piano is a measurement of cerebellum function. And uh, we'll see on one side it may go weak, and then we know again there's very specific exercises that we're going to give them. We also may do some tests looking at their um, visual function and how well they are tracking things with their visual field. Uh, and again, giving appropriate exercises when we find that. Now, one other thing that we look at is when there is a concussion, oftentimes there is a disruption in the core links in the systems in the body. So we do a test that measures whether those core links have been disrupted. And then we have protocols to connect all the organ systems back with the brain in a very specific and precise way. Then the other piece that we like to do is just recognizing uh, that that light touch tonal model is the one that helps the body to integrate stresses and especially past stresses and traumas. So uh, again, we can even bring up their image, their thought, their stressful thoughts about the injury that occurred, and we can help to integrate that as well. So I hope that helps you understand how we get the results that we do get here at Wellspring. And if you liked what you saw and you want to share it with others, we would appreciate it and know that we can help them too.